Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to I Loaf You. Today, we are going to be making a German chocolate cake roll. Basically, we're following the same method as our pumpkin roll, which I will link in one of the corners up here if you'd like to check that out. But we are going to start off with our cake and our filling, and then we will get it all rolled together, and I will take you through every step of the process. So we will go get started. All right, so first we are going to get the chocolate cake made. So we're going to start out with our flour, our sugar, and then we want to take a just a small strainer here. I'm gonna add in our baking soda, our baking powder, and the salt. The only reason I strain that is so that any lumps that you might get in your cake um, will be sifted out at that point. So now I'm also going to put in our cocoa powder, which I'm also going to run through our strainer, only because my cocoa powder is incredibly, incredibly lumpy right now. I don't know. I think just the humidity. I'm going to grab a glove so I can do this with my hands very easily without making a mess. Um, and we will just run that all through the strainer. So now you just want to take your whisk and just blend these together. And then we are just going to move on to adding in our wet ingredients right into this. Now, this is a larger size batch. I do recommend cutting this in half if you are doing this in a normal size mixing bowl and not making a mess like I am inevitably going to do in this video. Because this will probably fill this bowl with batter. Just keep that in mind, you may want to use a bigger bowl. So we are going to now add in our buttermilk. I'm actually using regular milk today because this is a lactose-free regular milk, so it's something that everybody could potentially eat um, where I'm going to be serving this. I'm going to add in our vegetable oil. And then we want to just crack in or eggs. Just be careful not to get any of the shells in your batter. If you're worried about that, I would definitely crack them into a separate bowl to make sure that you won't have any shells. And now we are going to mix this up a little bit. We still have two more ingredients to add which will actually make this a little bit thinner of a batter. So now that this has started to come together a little bit, we are going to add in our vanilla extract. I know I don't really measure. There are actual measurements of which you could use. Um, and then I am going to go grab my hot slash boiling water and we're gonna add that now as well. So just want to add this and make sure that you stir this slowly. Otherwise you will definitely, definitely make a mess. So we're just going to get these fully incorporated and then we will get these, the batter into our pans. So 
So this cake batch is enough that will make two eight or nine inch round cakes if that's what you're going for. However, because I'm making this into a roll, I am going to be pouring this into two um, pans that I have prepared with parchment paper and pan spray. These are half sheet pan, well half sheet pans. Um, you just want to make sure that you have the lip around the entire outside of your sheet so a normal cookie sheet will not work. And now you want to try not to make too much of a mess, but we're just going to divide this between the two cake pans. to put these in our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. I have it preheated and we are going to let these bake. I will let you know how long I bake them for because I'm not quite sure yet how long they're going to take. All right, so on our stove top here, I'm starting with our sweetened condensed milk in our saucepan. I'm going to add our sugar our butter and our egg yolks and we are going to put this on a medium heat and we just want to stir this occasionally just make sure that this all melts and comes together evenly and then we are going to add in our coconut and our pecans
right, so now that we've taken it off of the heat, we are going to add it to your mixer bowl. And I am going to probably put the whisk attachment on here. And we just want to beat it until it has cooled and it's a nice thick spreadable frosting. Now, if you want to add another kind of frosting in here as well, you can. I'm sticking with a basic German chocolate cake. So now I am just going to roll my cake. It's as basic as that. You're using all of the parchment paper pieces that are a, some of them attached to the cake, and the ones that are just underneath to help you roll. Now the entire thing is currently rolled up here. So now I just roll in this portion paper as well. And then I'm going to tuck the ends and I am going to roll the entire thing in plastic wrap as well, just to hold it together while it's in the refrigerator. refrigerate this. I like to refrigerate it overnight before I do anything with it. 